So if you guys can see the screen, <coughs> I've got it set on autos. So right there I'm running at a 500's high. And I get into the harder stuff and it gets, gets a little, little further above grade. But it's still I think within a 10, 500's. Reach out here, come in with it, keep it on grade, 500's. We get in the harder stuff and it gets a little, a little above grade. Just loading up trucks and getting this dirt out of here. But I'll show you kind of how quick and easy grades are with this thing. Let's see if this guy comes over here and backs in correctly like the last guy did. And yeah, looks like he's aiming for where the bucket's hanging at, which is what they're supposed to do. So we'll stop him here. We'll load him up. And then we'll take and hit grade. So come out here like this. So right here it's at two tenths. As you bring it in, 500s, perfect grade, 500s, 500s, a tenth. It's starting to cut again. So we'll take and load this bucket up here. We'll get it all within a tenth, two tenths. And then we'll go back through and we'll grade it all back out. Just like here, we just come across, dig this out. Super, super hard clay that we're digging in here. Good material, but super, super hard. So we got all that cut out there. We're just gonna just get this truck out of here. Get this loaded up real quick. Get this truck going so we can get back on the road. And when we're between trucks, we'll get here grade this out real quick but having this thing set up like it is it tells me when I'm at grade so I get everything really close and I can go through and fine-tune it so when we're grading doing this this is for a pool level here so we got to get all this stuff fairly close then they have to come then they come back into the deck and so out here now we're at grade so we're 10th high now we're 500 high 10th high 500s 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 so that's a pretty good pass there the cool thing about the earthworks is you can kind of come in however fast you want like right there, that's keeping it right at grade. I think you can see how fast that was coming in. So put it out here again like this, and bring it in. That's all right on grade. That's the one nice thing about the earthworks is other systems you can only go so fast. Earthworks, you can kind of go however fast you want. You can tell just by the beat that it's on grade. So, like for me, people said, how, how can you stand that beeping noise? Well, that's because that's what I'm used to. Over the years, that's what I've heard from being in the cab. That's what I've heard is the grade stick with the, with the laser catch on it, it's got the same exact tone, which is what I like. That's what I'm used to. So people ask me, how in the heck do you do that? I'm like, well, I, I, I couldn't deal without it. You know, i got a friend that watches the screen. I can't watch the screen. i got, I got to watch what's going on with the bucket, where the bucket's at, and what it's doing. So come over here, where the trucks were at. We're going to dig this out right here and make it a little bit bigger. So... There's a little bit bigger target for the trucks. It's always a good, it's always a good idea to give a, a big target for these trucks because you just never know what you're gonna get with a driver. And don't trust me, I'm I'm not being negative towards drivers. I grew up in a family of low bed transportation family. What I grew up in, so 
I know all about truck drivers. I can almost say I was almost one, but I decided to move dirt for a living instead of move the machines that move dirt for a living. So over here, I come over here and cut this across. That's all right at grade. So it's within 500. So I'd say that's pretty close. We'll put that over here. We'll let the trucks back in over here like they've been doing. So coming across there, you can see that's pretty, that's pretty good, pretty close. So then we've got up, up there. If you put your bucket up there and look at it, that's 20 feet above grade right there where my teeth are at. And I'm set up for five feet above that patio down there. So if I'm set up below five feet above that patio and that's 20 feet up there, I'm roughly 25 feet above where I've got to be at. So we're gonna have a little bit of retaining on this project to do. Which I'm okay with. It's just time consuming. But that's alright. Make it all look good. So this here, if we uh, dig this out and put it over here, like this, it'll actually make this go make loading these trucks go faster. It's all fluffed up. May as well do something while I'm waiting for him. See if this guy's smart enough to back over here underneath the bucket too. Yeah, it looks like he is. That's good. That's three in a row. We're doing pretty good here. I got enough material here to stockpile to load this truck. He's got some pretty tall sides. It says 13 and a half ton on the side of the truck, but I don't really pay attention to that. Full truck is a happy truck. Full truck is a happy, happy me too. Means I can get my job done faster. If I can get my job done faster, that just means less money for the customer unless I'm doing it by the yard this one I'm not I'm doing this one by the hour so better to be quick than take more time and try and be all safe and legal and everything they're only going about three miles away with it so shouldn't be too big of a deal just load them up so here again, we'll get back into grading because we're getting pretty close. So that's on autos right there. So you can see how it actually keeps the bucket angle right at the, right at grade. And you can go in and you can change the, what they call the attack angle, which is pretty cool. So you're not dragging the heel of your bucket the whole time. You're just bringing it in on the teeth could change the attack angle. I don't know how much I like it, but this way you're using your teeth in the same exact way every time, more or less. But you know, there's there's your grade. That's 500 right there. So I'd say that's pretty dang close to being right on grade. 500s. Not much tolerance there. Looks like I had enough piled up over here for him. So 500, zero, get into the harder stuff, you get up into a tenth. So, pretty much keeps you right on grade, which is really the name of the game with this stuff. So we'll go back here and we'll do this again, we'll clean it up again. all this area up here so if you're a little high the first time around just 
come back in and fine tune it. Get it right at great. I like the earthwork system because pretty much as fast as you can pull your stick in, it's going to keep up. And that is going to keep your bucket on great as well. It would drive me nuts to have to put it on autos and then be nice and slow coming in. Been in business for 22 years and if a computer is going to make me go slower out here running the machine, I don't know how badly I'm going to want it. So, nice hard clay here though, that's for dang sure. But this grade down here, like I was saying, is for the pool. So, the closer I get it to grade, the better off we're going to be less concrete for the deck they're gonna have all that good stuff so cut this grade down here and I know when I'm getting close because it's beeping at me if it wasn't beeping at me then I'd have to look at the screen and figure out when I'm getting close so it's kind of nice to be able to just have it set up on that beep see like here I'll go down and I'll just use my teeth and there's there's my grade as I'm pulling it in. Because it's so hard, it uh, wants to come up a little bit. That's why you get it right down, right down close. Just put it on your autos and in it comes. Thanks for watching.